In this video, I'll show you how to filter information stored in your tables using selectors. The first step to filtering information is to make sure that information is stored in a table. So first I'm going to create a brand new table using the add table function in the BotPress Cloud Studio, and I'll name this table pets. Then for the information that's going to be stored in this table, I'll make one column called pet name, and I'll create another column called pet type. So here in this table, I'm going to be storing some information about pets you might find in the BotPress office, but you can use tables to manage things like product inventory, user queries, or even manage leads. I've gone ahead and filled in my table with some examples. Now, let's say I just want to see the cats in the BotPress office, but if my table is tens of thousands of rows long, that can be a little bit time consuming. In this case, we can use a selector to find that information for us. First, I'm going to click on this circle icon to create a selector. I'm prompted with two fields. In the first one, I'm going to label it something descriptive, in this case just cats, and in the second field, I'm asked to prompt a query in natural language. In this case, I can just ask BotPress what I want, and behind the scenes, BotPress writes the code for you to automatically query this table. Since this is a simple search, I'll just type in cats, hit enter, and see what happens. In this case, you can see the table filters automatically to show me just the cats in the BotPress office. If I hit clear selector up here, we can see we go back to the default view of this table. Your table can also store multiple selectors to help you filter information at a glance. For example, up here we see I've got two selectors, one for cats and one for dogs. Hitting the execute icon will execute each of these. So if I wanted to search for just cats, I can do that. And if I wanted to search for just dogs, I can do that as well. Pretty cool. Happy bot building.